What is going on guys, it is Dark here and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Pokemon Go on your PC or laptop and I don't know, like little iPads and stuff aren't confirmed but I just know for a fact that Pokemon Go is available for your PC and laptop you can sit at home and literally play Pokemon Go walk around with arrow keys and click on Pokemon and catch Pokemon with your mouse itself now you may say this is cheating and may argue otherwise but there are some people out there who either live in the middle of nowhere their phone is awful or they're in hospital for any kind of reason just any kind of these reasons even like if their country will never get Pokemon Go they can ha finally have it and finally play it on their PC now I'm going to show you step by step how to do this because I just uninstalled my application for this so I'm going to show you step by step as I install it so you can copy me and make sure you make no mistakes and don't get banned etc etc but this will benefit you hugely by me doing it step by step I thought it would be like a massive help and we're going to just jump straight back into it alright so the first thing you're going to want to do guys is check the description of this video it should say Darku's website or something I don't know but basically you're going to go ahead and go straight to my website called thedarkutribe.moonfruit.com You can type this in or you can click the link like I just said And go over to the downloads page which you can see over here And then click the on over on the misc side, obviously you can download games whatever So just, just ignore that, that's, that's other videos But for now we're going to go over to the misc side and click on the button called Nox And when you do this it should instantly install something to your bar or top right or top left, I don't know Either way, whatever browser you're using, it should install wherever. So we're going to go ahead and go to all downloads and you can see it downloading there. I'm going to cancel it because I've already done this twice, trying to make this video perfect. Um, but yeah, so we're going to cancel it. But you guys download that and that should, wherever mine went, be in your downloads folder either or, or wherever you saved it. So you're going to have to save that. And then when you download this, this is what it looks like, just exactly like this. So you're gonna right click it and then run as an admin to make sure you don't fuck up. And just so you know, this is a genuine app. This isn't like, sorry, I don't know if I lagged out or not, but this is a genuine app. This isn't me attaching a phone to a bloody drone and then flying off like PewDiePie did or anything like that. But uh, yeah, so this is step by step. Anyway guys, so when you get to this, don't just jump straight into it. You wanna accept the agreement and go to custom settings, okay? You're gonna get rid of the taskbar, get rid of the start of the thing, and just keep just keep the uh, desktop shortcut, okay? And then go to install. We're gonna fast forward whilst it does this, so we can just jump straight to the next part. There we go, guys. So now it's done, and it says, "Do you want to start?" So we're gonna go ahead and press start anyway, and let that load up. <laughs> you can see at the bottom the little tiny line. Make that sure that goes up to 100%. If you guys have any issues with this, they do have a Twitter, like uh, Nox app themselves, have a Twitter you can get to, like a help center, and they will help you, and if they don't help you or get back to you, make sure you make a comment on this video, because I will get back to you guys, alright? I will actually help as much as I can, because I do know a lot of what I'm, about what I'm doing and stuff, so if you have any issues with this, etc, etc, I will, I'll be there, so it's all good. Alright guys, so this is exactly what it looks like when it's finished, it'll start up like this, and the Pokemon Go app will start underneath Poke uh, the Google settings, sorry, it just give it a min minute to load in, right? Before I carry on, if you're having issues already trying to install this or something, it's probably your firewall. Now, I'm not going to give you a virus, I've given people loads of like games like, what is it? The other Pokemon games you saw on my website, I've given people Cube World, Minecraft, Servers, TeamSpeak, all kinds of things and no one has got a, a bloody virus off of me, okay? This is genuine, I want to help everyone, there is no need for me to give you a virus. I just want to be there as a help. You know, the only one, the only way you could grow your YouTube in general is by helping people, you're not by giving them viruses. So you don't have to worry about that, okay? I'm not going to fuck you over like that. This is a genuine thing, step by step, so you don't mess up. Alright guys, so as you can see, I just wanted to get that over with, sorry. <laughs> as you can see, the Pokemon Go app is there now, but don't just go rushing into it and clicking it, alright? First thing you want to go is to the GPS settings on the right hand side, as you can see where my mouse is, okay? Now it'll say you're in Sydney, just ignore that, alright? You're going to want to go, now my favourite place, you can, you can type your home address in here and then go straight to it if you want. Or, you could do what I do, by the way, and go to Google Maps and find Santa Monica Pier because this place is a bloody wonder. You can literally go here wherever you wish on the pier and it's absolutely amazing. There are pokey stops everywhere, there is rare Pokemon everywhere, there is gyms everywhere and it's just such an amazing place to be. Like I would go there on holiday, that's how nice it is honestly. 
But anyway, you're gonna go on, gonna want to go to Google Maps and literally find Santa Monica or any other place you really want to go to, which will, you think will be a great place. And you're gonna want to find their little address code. Uh, in general, just their address. We're gonna go ahead and steal the C A or steal, sorry, the C A space nine zero one. Oh no, sorry, nine zero four zero one USA. I'm gonna copy that, and then we can close this in general. So we're gonna go to our GPS settings again. Sorry. Uh, highlight this control V together so you paste it and click geocode and it will send us there now if we zoom in a little bit uh, by scrolling our mouse in or whatever you have you can zoom in you can see the pier there well the map of the pier should I say and we're gonna go ahead and just spawn the road here <clears throat> so we're gonna want to click OK for that after you've selected where you want click OK or say selected now you're gonna want to close this and before we actually begin to go on the app Click on this settings button at the top right and you're going to want to make sure your advanced settings is on at least medium or high, preferably high, because you're going to need to have some sort of, just in general, good computer to run this, because if you don't, it's going to lag a lot and yeah. So you want to go to save changes and it should restart it. Now this is no problem, restarting it is probably the best option, but do the GPS thing first and then the, do the settings and then restart it, because it'll be the best option for you. We're going to quickly let this load, I'm going to fast forward it. Alright guys, so now we're back on, I'm going to show you exactly what you to do from here, okay? Pokemon Go is loaded real quick, like it only slowed the first time you install this, but now it's there, so now you have it. So we're going to click on Pokemon Go, the GPS should remember where you are, and now you can see this giant ass compass in the middle of the screen, you don't actually have to worry about that, let me just get rid of this. We don't need the installation anymore, okay? You have both Nox things, alright? I'll explain what the second one does in a minute. Alright, so let me just quickly mute this because we don't need that. There we go. Right, so you can type in your date of birth, but like I'm going to put mine in now, don't be stalking me. Uh, but you just put in your put in your profile data that you had on your phone, or if, like I said, you don't have Pokemon Go in your country or never will, this is probably the best option. And you're going to go submit your stuff. Now, if you have a Google email, for preferably, then do that. Now you can make a new email or use your existing email and make an account with it or you can take your profile from your phone and put it straight onto this. So mine is original. Taku at gmail.com Now I'm going to cover this because it's my password. I'm not going to tell you what it is, obviously. So you type in your password, your email, whatever, and then move on to the next bit. Click OK to agree to the terms and services. Signing in. Now the backup and restore you want to keep and the communication you definitely want to keep. It's just those things you should keep ticked and move on. Now if you move forward, it should, if you've done this correctly, be completely fine. And you're going to spawn in such a wonderful place where there's just billions of Pokestops. Can you see this place? Like seriously? Can you see that at all? Now obviously this giant cover is going to get in the way. You're going to want to either change it or get rid of it. Right, the, what you're going to want to do is click this button up here, you can see it. I'm going to maximize the screen real quick so you can see everything. This little button at the top right, you want to click this, and then you can like change your W, D, S, A sort of keys around. So the W on up, D right, S down, and left, left on the uh, arrow keys. You just click it and then press whatever button you want. And then you're going to want to go ahead and click save, which is at the top right. And then put the transparency or opacity, bloody hell, I'm still tired. But you want to close this always to zero and then it won't be on your screen any longer. And you can turn by using your mouse obviously to turn around. And now I've got my arrow keys making sure that I walk left, right, forward, back, bloody blah, blah, blah. Obviously the Pokestops work perfectly, etc, etc. There you go, there's proof <laughs> for a start. Now. I don't use, obviously my phone is outdated so I don't have this game at all and I do literally come here and I'm going to admit it now, I literally use this app only because I can only play on PC, I don't have anything, I live in a dead ass area where there is nowhere to see Pokestops or Pokemon, my phone is outdated and I'm pretty lazy so it kind of all combines together. Obviously the arrow keys obviously work properly and you can walk around you get your Pokestops now as an sort of a tribute should I say because I come to Santa, Santa Monica Pier uh, sometimes when these like Pokestops run out of laws and I've got laws myself I'll put them on there even though I live nowhere near them I feel bad because I'm teleporting to them and I'm you know obviously gaining off of their Poke laws as well 
but it's, it's nice because you're still there and you're helping and stuff and I try not to take any gyms because I feel horrible because I don't even live anywhere near them so I avoid gyms at all costs and I just put laws down for everyone so they can enjoy it but this place is absolutely amazing now you can hatch your eggs and stuff by walking and there's pokey stops bloody everywhere gyms everywhere and there's there's just there's nice pokemon there's normally like growlifts abra uh there's a lot of magic up near the water obviously but it's just an amazing thing now let me know guys if you if any of you have any issues with this uh don't forget they have a twitter and if you can't get through to them and they or they don't message you back or something along those lines leave a comment in the in the comment section and i'll try my best to get back to you because i do know a lot about this app anyway in general and it's just you know i'll help you out it's just what i do so yeah there you go guys there it is and I actually use this as well for streaming, like if there's any streamers out there who just want to teleport to their own village and start streaming this game in high quality, this is the way to do it, you know? It's not it's not really cheating if you're doing it in your own village sort of thing, so... I mean, you know, like I said, I've got an outdated phone, I live in the middle of nowhere, so this is kind of the right thing for me, like I guess people who don't have the game yet can uh, use this sort of thing. But it is brilliant, but it's still nice to go outside and do it as well, so you don't permanently play this, it's just it's really nice to hang it with your friends and uh, go out and do it. I, sh I hope this helped guys, like I said, any issues let me know, but I hope you enjoy this, make sure you catch them all, and I'll see you on another video. Goodbye guys!